What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling. And that's right, today we're getting ready to do some spicy Thai noodles and we're getting ready to do it with me, A.B. Now listen, you guys saw the title, okay, and I just went over it, you know, I'm making spicy Thai noodles, right? This is about, you know, changing up what we do. You know what, we're expanding our uh, our weekly and bi-weekly, uh, you know, regular meals and we're starting to insert a whole bunch of fun, delicious, and just changing it up. And not to mention that these are going, uh, these uh, Asian dishes like this are gonna be like super easy also. So, we trying to get it up to three weeks and up to a month. That way nobody in the family saying, hey, we having this again, because by the time this come back, they're gonna have a mouth watering and they might even request it for you to double it up. Hey, so with that being said, we finna go over these ingredients. You know I ain't finna over talk it, so let's get it in. Okay, now we finna go over these ingredients, right? Now you guys see these ingredients? Listen, this is for like the Asian hookup. So listen, I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging by just getting, if you guys go out and buy these ingredients, like when are we gonna use them again? Uh, about three months ago, I put a poll in my uh, community tab. We talked about, you know, uh, Asian dishes and what everybody wanted to see. Now that I'm at home, we getting ready to get them in. So listen, you're gonna need these anyway along with just a couple of more. And uh, listen, we gonna make multiple dishes out of, you know, just so it's not gonna be really, it's not gonna be expensive at all. Now, let me just say this. I'm gonna start with the noodles. All right, look, I got linguine noodles, right? These are the thin ones, they're not as wide. I always use these, these are cool. And then I'm gonna show you something else. Look, these right here. Look, these Thai kitchen, you know, these are stir fry rice noodles, right? These work good too. You know what, it's really up to you. I'm just gonna go ahead and use these today, but I wanted to show you, and listen, these are real inexpensive. You get, what, 14 ounces for about, you know, a couple of dollars. So get yourself some of these, or you can go this route also. This is one pound, you know what I mean? But we are gonna go ahead and use these today. Now, I got a green onion, you know, I cut it. They use it a lot for uh, garnish. You know, hey, you can't go wrong. This should be something that you have in your refrigerator at all times, along with uh, like parsley. Uh, listen, I just cut up three stalks, chopped it from the top all the way down to the bottom. But we gonna cook with that. Here, I'm just showing you, listen, you guys use the brand or whatever is available at your store, but this is just what I pick up. And this is mostly readily, readily available at most of these large grocery stores. This right here is the roasted, you know, red chili paste. Then we got sesame seeds. Trick with these sesame seeds too, I just like to say these are just like uncooked, they unroasted, right? You can always put these in a hot pan, you know what I mean? Keep them moving and they'll darken up for you if you wanna have them roasted in a different color. It has a little bit of dip, uh, flavor to it, but you'd have to have a lot of it really to uh, taste it. Then we got red chili flakes. And then obviously what you guys are seeing every time, if you're new to my channel, you'll see that every time I pick up an ingredient, the, uh, the quantity and the ingredient name shows up on the screen also. And at the bottom of uh, each one of my videos, you'll see that I keep an ingredient list in there in my description box. All right, here we got sesame seed oil. This right here smells incredible. When you guys smell it, hey listen, it's gonna make your mouth water. All right, and then we got soy sauce. Then I got two tablespoons. Uh, listen, this is two tablespoons of canola oil. You can use vegetable oil, whatever, but this right here is my oil. That's just two tablespoons. And then I got me a little sriracha right here. Hey, we're gonna add it up. We're gonna make it a little spicy. You know what I mean? So not a lot of ingredients, but again, if you guys get this and elect to uh, make this recipe, and it's super fast. Listen, I'm gonna be done in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. So with that being said, let me go ahead. Let's get these, uh, I'm gonna make these just the way it says make them on the, uh, on the packaging. So I'm gonna get those going and then we're gonna get the rest going. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna follow the instructions that came on our uh, noodles, right? So we get us a pot, bring the water to a boil, put our pasta inside. And again, we just wanna read it. And these were gonna be done in 10 minutes. So I set a timer. Now, this is what, you know, what makes it like super quick, right? So we got our water boiling. We put our pasta in already. So now we're getting ready to go ahead and start making, you know, setting up our oil. Listen, like I said, 20 to 25 minutes and it's just, you know, it's done. I guess the longest thing that's gonna take is just for those noodles to really get ready. Other than that, we're gonna work simultane simultaneously with it and then we're gonna make it happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start this off on medium high. Got this going. Let's get a little heat in here and then we're gonna start off with our oils. We're gonna start off with our sesame seed, our vegetable oil, right? And our chili flakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put these right here. They're already ready to go. What I'm doing right now is I'm just getting a little heat in the pan. 
then I'm gonna add it. Also, you wanna get yourself a strainer. And you know what, I just use a one cup Pyrex cup. You know, you can use whatever you wanna use. You can use actually a bowl or whatever, but the smaller the container, the better, cause we gonna drain this oil and get those uh, pepper flakes out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my oils. Then my chili flakes. And what I'm gonna do is we just gonna stir it around like this. We just wanna get it hot and we want those chili flakes to release, you know, its flavor and its spiciness into the oils. Now that we done gave it a chance to, you know, cook a little bit and release its flavors into the oil, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. Now you just wanna grab your strainer and then you wanna pour all your oil along with your chili flakes, you know, into your strainer. Super easy. Now I'm gonna take this spatula and we're just gonna move it around just to get all of the oil out as possible. And here you have it. You know, it's strained, nice and pure. Got that, that red chili pepper uh, taste to it. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. Now, what I did was I just cleaned it out, any residue, you know, from the chili flakes. I took that out. I'm gonna go ahead and start off a medium, you know, medium heat now, right? So let's start it. Got that going. Look, now we getting ready to put this, the oils we just took out, we get ready to pour that in there. Now, we're gonna take the soy sauce. We're gonna put that in there. We're gonna start whisking. And we're gonna put this chili paste in here. Now by adding our chili paste here, you know what, by it being warm, it'll help it to, to dissolve. We're just gonna mix this, whisk this around a little bit. Get that chili pepper, I mean the chili paste, you know, to go ahead and, uh, you know, cook in, heat up, and dissolve. And any second now, my, uh, my noodles should be coming up, you know, getting, being done. And after that, we're gonna add it to it, and then we're gonna go from there. Like I said, you guys, it's super easy, super simple. Hey, listen, big on taste. If you guys never had it, you gotta give it a chance. Now what I'm doing now is I'm reducing it down to low. And the reason I put it down on low, cause we just want everything to be nice and warm. We don't really want it to continue to cook. It's at about 175 degrees right now on my cooktop. So we'll leave it like this. We'll wait for that timer to go off. Then we're gonna go ahead and get a colander. We're gonna strain the noodles. And then after that, we're gonna add the noodles to this. And then we're gonna finish it up. And then I'm gonna let you guys know there's a bunch of little other options that you can do. You know, you can add to this. You can add carrots, peanuts, whatever. Uh, me, I don't like nuts at all. So, hey, whatever you, you, know, you wanna put in here, you can do it. Ah, you hear that right there? Everything is coming together and it's ready. All right, let me go ahead and strain these noodles. Now, okay, as you can see, you know, my, uh, my noodles have already been strained. I go ahead and use a set of tongs, you know what I mean? And I just start adding it to, you know, to my sauce, right? So you just want to keep adding it. And listen, the purpose of this is, obviously, is just to get your noodles, you know, coated. And one thing about noodles, you guys, everybody knows that they are super absorbent. That's why I like spaghetti and things with pasta. It tastes so much better the next day. And okay, now you saw me just hitting it with that, you know, with the sesame seeds, and now I'm coming with the green onions. And now would be the time that you would add your carrots and your peanuts or whatever else you want to add to it also. Now you guys can see, here it is. You know what, uh, I can't say enough. I'm getting ready to have me some right now. Your mouth should be watering just like mine right now. So I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below too. Are you guys going to add carrots, peanuts, or how do you guys like yours? Just let me know. I'm just curious. You know what? This right here is good for me, just minus the chicken. You know what I mean? Uh, I should have put some chicken in there. But listen, you guys can do that too. You can, look, this is your base. You can make it however you want to make it. But right now, we finna get us some. All right, so look. Now you guys just saw another option. You know what I mean? Hey, these spicy Thai noodles are just like super easy to make you know what they very filling and i'm gonna go ahead and get me some of these right now you know i'm playing with these chopsticks like i really know what i'm doing hey you know what better yet let me go ahead and keep it real let me give me a fork <laughs> there we go hey can't go wrong right here so these are them right there 
Mm. <laughs> hey, this right here got a nice little kick to it. Now, <clears throat> if you notice, like when you look down at the description box below, I'm gonna give you like a, a estimate. You can go a half a tablespoon of uh, a red chili flakes all the way up to a tablespoon and a half. It's really up to you. I went and hit it in the middle. I always just do a tablespoon. Hey, listen, that's about as far as I can go, y'all. This right here got my mouth going. I'm ready to wrap this up and hurry up and continue eating so I can get this down. Now I'm thinking, man, you know what? Some chicken and shrimp would have just hit it off right. Hey, so I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below. You know what? What are you going to put in yours? You know, how do you like yours? Have you ever had this? Yada, yada, yada. You got it? All right. So listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And now I gotta hurry up and get these, you know, finish these noodles so I can get me something wet to cool this down. And I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.